Hello guys, in this video I'm going to guide you through initial configuration of Palo Alto Firewall and I'll focus on the configuration for small offices. Uh, Palo Alto Firewall has uh, several interfaces, uh, like for PA200 has four Ethernet interfaces for data and there is another one, management interface. So to connect to Firewall, you need to configure your laptop from 192.168.1.0/24 network and connect it uh, to management interface. And when you enter in your browser HTTPS 192.168.1.1, you'll get to uh, management interface. So the default username and password is admin admin, and after that you'll get to this uh, graphical interface for the Palo Alto configuration. So first thing you have to keep in mind that uh, Palo Alto firewall is a zone based firewall and each uh, interface uh, which you are going to use uh, should belong to a zone. So the first thing we have to do is to configure zones. Trust L3, it's a layer 3 interface. Uh, layer 3 zone for your LAN untrust zone for your internet service provider connectivity and for small office um, we often use uh, in internal interfaces as a switch port to connect a few devices they have over there so let's configure it trust L2 and we need to choose this interface as layer 2 interface type. Okay, now uh, we need to configure uh, management profiles. Uh, because uh, for especially for small offices, they uh, use data interface to manage firewall rather than um, management interface. So if you want to allow management access to your firewall on that interface, it's not only for management, you need to configure management profiles. So let's uh, ping only. And for this profile, we'll allow only pinging. And locate MGMT profile to allow ping, SSH, and HTTPS access. And after that, I'll show you how to assign this management profile to your interfaces. And now, when we created zones, we need to configure VLAN. Let's call it Office LAN. And that's all. And let's go to Interfaces. And Interfaces, uh, we need to go to VLAN. And we'll configure layer 3 interface associated with the VLAN which we have created. So this is just a VLAN sequential number. It's, you can use any and it's not related to um, 802.1Q profile uh, standard. It's just sequential number. Here we choose VLAN, router, default router. And security zone for VLAN, of course, it will be trust. It's our internal network. Um, for this layer 3 interface, we need to configure IP address 192.168.2.1. And here we have to put prefix. Keep in mind, otherwise, it will not work. You'll not be able to connect to this IP address. And on tab advanced, we choose management profile MGMT so we'll be able to configure firewall via this interface okay so quite often for small offices we need to configure DHCP server let's do this as well we need to choose on which interface we want to choose DHCP at least Enable it. Timeout by default one day. Uh, it's also possible to inherit many uh, parameters for DH from DHCP um, 
which we have got from service provider. But in our case, we'll configure only uh, static address and static route, so we'll not be able to inherit anything. So here's uh, the gateway 192.168.2.1 uh, for uh, clients, subnet 255.255.255.0. DNS, as I mentioned, that we can't use inheritance, so we'll use, uh, let's say, 8.8.8.8 Google. And we need to configure IP address pool 192.168.2.100 to 192.168.2.199. And also possible to have some reserved IP address. Uh, reserved addresses but we'll not do this now okay just a basic configuration so that's all how to configure DHCP server here now uh, we need to go to interfaces as you can see there is a feature against the VLAN it's a DHCP server showing that DHCP server is enabled here now we're going to Ethernet interfaces our physical interfaces going to Ethernet 1 slash 1, which will be our external address. If we choose it layer 3, default router, and this is untrust. Here we need to configure our external IP address, 10.1.1.110 slash 24. And in advanced, in management profile, we choose ping only. So from internet, we're allowing to ping our firewall. And that's all. Also, Ethernet 1 slash 2 and 1 slash 3 are not belonging to the switch yet. So to do that, we have to configure these interfaces as a layer 2 and attach it and assign it to office. LAN and security zone, trust L2. And the same configuration we need to do for Ethernet 1 slash 3. We're going to layer 2 interface type, VLAN, office LAN, and security zone, trust L2. And now we need to go to virtual routers because we don't have any inheritance we don't, can't get anything from service provider we have to configure here like default so here's 0000, 0, 0, 0 slash 0 and address 10.1.1.1 will be our default gateway ah, just interface is a net 1 slash 1 Okay, network path has been configured, so now we need to go to policies. Security, right, just a second, oh, it's a NAT policy rule, we just go to security first. And here we're creating a rule that allows access from our trust zone to untrust zone. So let's call it allow any source zone. It will be trust alt L3. Destination zone will be untrust L3. Application any is the application default. But in this case, we'll use just any for any port, any application, and allow. As uh, we have only one IP address, one uh, public IP address, let's say, we need to do port address translation. Okay, so name is let's say called Pat L Pat Paul. 
original packet will be from trust to untrust destination interface ethernet one slash one service any and translated packet look here dynamic IP and port and now we choose interface address we're showing this interface Ethernet one slash one which is and because it's possible to have several IP addresses on the interface we choose specific one okay okay and that is all and we need to con commit configuration because uh, at this moment it's a candidate configuration it's not writing config and well we commit it so then uh, candidate configuration will be okay so okay sorry Yeah, so for some reason I forgot to choose on trust or just typo. Okay, now commit. Okay. As you can see, the firewall also checks if the configuration is correct or not. Okay, let's come here. Let's see, IP config minus a. Oh, sorry, this config minus a. Let's see, yeah, IP address has been assigned. Okay. Okay, dig works as well. Okay, so now we can check. Let's say google.com. Okay, yeah, the review works. Great. So that's all. Thank you for your time and all the best with follow-up the firewalls.